hello friends this is Joseph here welcome to part 18.1 of our crash course RPG League. so in this video we're just going to get started on the project which we have discussed uh, uh, in the last video okay so I have not done anything before so I'm just going to get started let's see how it goes so based on our uh, design right so we are gonna have a screen first so I'm just going to create a display file so uh, STMG student management okay 001D DSPF so this one is created now let me come out and then give 17 okay so s01 fmt it's going to be first screen so in the first screen i want to have like some date and then time okay so also i can have a user id also okay and then uh okay so i can say something like uh, Manage. Okay. So now let's give some color. High intensity reverse image with pink color. Okay. So now uh, the first screen we we need to ask something like uh, enter your login option. Okay, so it will be something like this one admin login or two student student login and here option and uh, we need to have um, input number so I can give three. Okay, uh, we can name this as INP OPT okay um yeah this is pretty much we want to do and then we need to have a f3 exit and here f5 refresh f12 8 indicator keyword c03 03 exit c05 05 refresh okay so this is the first screen so if we are able to uh, pass through this one we should have a next screen called s02 fmt okay so this is like uh, the second screen here we're gonna have something like uh, uh, enter use okay i think we can use id okay and then password and here uh, user id going to be a number so input so three of five and here it's going to be a character so also input so i can give i of 10 okay and this guy is use usr id and this pwd and one important property for password is should be hidden right so you can give a star come to display attributes okay you can select non display to s okay and uh, this also should have okay we should have had a header to have okay okay we can have heading like uh, admin login okay so this also can have like uh, star date star time okay star user this for some reference and here um, once we log in we may need to have a message output of 40 and you can have it as like e message uh, 02 okay because it's a second screen right so Zero two, and uh, we can have something like F three exit and F five for refresh and F twelve to back. Okay, and F twelve. Let's create those indicators here. Indicators C zero three zero three exit C zero five. 
zero five refresh c a twelve twelve back so now we design this two screen so let's code for this two screen first so twelve no need to create the display file object now and then uh, why it is taking long time here yeah, okay okay then f6 stmg 001r rpgle okay so here i'm gonna say um stmg 001d cf external format workstation 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 okay and then uh we're gonna have uh, template free and free and inside uh, as of now what i'm going to do uh do while star in 03 equal to star off until the f3 is off okay um i'm going to x fmt s01 fm first screen okay so here we're gonna say star in lr equal to star on okay so first let's see what happens file compile this okay it's a 40 error let's go and check what is a 40 error oh i compiled the rpg first we should have compiled the display file first okay okay call so basically now we got the first screen okay and then if you press enter 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 nothing will happen because we're just looping through the same record or just displaying the same record right we don't have much coding so if you press f3 it will go out now what we need to do uh, i'm going to have a subroutine okay this is going to be uh first screen right so login subroutine so login sr okay let's create that subroutine now okay so this is going to be my login subroutine so b e g s r login s r so once um, we show the screen and uh, based on the input they give we should come here okay and then uh, validate so as of now i'm just going to code for the positive scenario so if okay uh, INP OPT is the variable we have on the display screen, okay, uh, is not equal to zero. And if, okay, then we have something. So here I'm just going to say something like select, uh, okay, I'll just do if uh, INP, OP, INP OPT equal to one, then they choose. Uh, admin login so we're gonna say ex fmt s02 fmt okay so we'll be having else condition after that but as of now this is okay we can also put this into a switch key, a switch also so let's first try this one um and yeah so if you go file compile call so if you press enter nothing will happen but if i give uh, one enter it goes to second screen okay admin login and uh, here actually i can give the number and then even the password but nothing will happen if you give enter it it will go back to the previous screen it won't stay there so we need to code that part now um as of now what we are going to do uh, let's do some validation of the screen so here if i press enter without giving anything it is not giving me any error uh basically i, sh I want to say something like um uh, give a valid option like that okay so we should have our uh, error message field here so that we can use that so f3 uh, go here not to we can go with 17 17 uh, 12 so here basically what we are gonna do we're gonna have a plus o of 40 and we can name this as emsg01 okay so is error message and this for the first screen like that so f2 f3 no okay so now let's compile this one and uh, edit this one so here uh what we are going to do 
okay if it is not equal to zero we're coming in so if it is zero right it will come to else condition and here we will say e msg01 equal to uh invalid input okay so it's invalid input and once we set this to an invalid input it will go back and then it will display the screen again with the uh, proper thing but what we need to do next when they give an when the process again we should uh, clear the emst01 okay else the error message will again show up on the next next time uh, this is okay um okay let's first file this one all so if press enter it says invalid input okay so if i give a valid input it goes to the second screen if i come down uh enter so it's coming down okay so as of now uh maybe we can stop here i don't know how much time i took okay so this is the template right so we have now and uh, next video what we want to do once we go to the admin login uh we don't want it to go back if we press enter okay we want to validate everything here so only if we press f12 or f3 it should go back or exit okay so we'll code that part and then we can also simulate our uh or we can click code this one uh come on okay if you go to sound in here okay so i can take a three here i think copy and then i can say zero three fmt okay it's going to be the same screen but the only change here is this we need to change into something like uh student login okay student login okay the same usually password we can use and then we can have here so here it says user d password i think it should be okay same variable names so here i can say 03 so f12 f3 okay so now we have the s03 fmt uh, so here i can check for i can check for another if condition right so if it is not equal to 0 then i come here and here i can say something like else if uh, inp opt equal to 2 okay exfmt s03 fmt uh, something wrong what is the exfmt spelling wrong exfmt okay if it is also not then they gave something else like 3 4 something like that okay so that time i want to say ems301 equal to uh again invalid input just okay, so to make it clear um input cannot be blank okay this will be nice so file uh 14 okay we got some error nice much job so this is what happened okay when i didn't prepare anything and then do this kind of stuff uh we get some error message but let's see how it goes we can sort it out so name on indicator is not reference uh, okay okay that is a variable problem variable problem okay emsg01 emsg01 what's wrong with emsg01 um spelling wrong okay i see usual so e msg msg zero okay fine so let's do a file 14 Call. call so now if we enter it says input cannot be blank if i give 4 it says invalid input if i give 2 it goes to the student login page if i press enter it comes down and if i give 1 it goes to admin login page okay this is pretty much good so in the next video we're going to see how to uh, how to stay on the same screen okay and then uh, oh, there's a little bit of noise here so we're going to see how, how to stay on the same uh, second or third screen okay and uh, how do we handle the validation of these screens and then we'll uh, uh, like authenticate the user id password with some uh, hard coded value then we'll get from the pf and then so on so it, it it will keep on going right so it's a continuous video so uh, let's see how it goes so i hope this video it's pretty much interesting uh, because it's not a prepared video so i'm just going uh, with what is there in my mind okay so let's let me see you in the next video soon thanks for watching